Does Apoquil cause cancer? No, but let's talk about it. This is in response to this post that alleges that Apoquil causes neoplastic conditions. It also called Cytopoint a non-drug treatment and that instead of using Apoquil, you can feed your pet a fresh diet. And these medications are for short-term relief, not long-term solutions. And then of course, comment and they'll send you their free article. There are kernels of truth in their statements, like their discussion about Apoquil being a Janus kinase inhibitor and that it's not for every patient because it does modulate the immune system. You don't want to use it in dogs with serious infections and you want to make sure you do your due diligence about things like Demodex before giving it. And the Apoquil insert itself talks about how there were some neoplastic conditions that were observed in these clinical trials. However, the incidence of neoplasia in these dogs was the same as the general public. You can pause to read this consensus statement, or you could look at this study from 2020, which looked at skin masses and found no association. Apical and Cytopoint are used for itchy dogs, but food allergies are not that common in these itchy dogs, like 1% of dogs overall. And amongst itchy pets, zero to 40% or so of dogs, hard to track. Atopy is multifactorial and is not completely understood. There's environmental factors, skin barrier issues, immune dysregulation, dysbiosis, genetics. And I agree with elimination diets, but I disagree that's an alternative to Apoquil. And a lot of times the underlying cause is something that you can't just fix. Let's not demonize medicine.